Hey there, I recently came across this landing page for this operating system course from the future, and I saw this really cool sticky section they had in the How It Works section, where they have two sticky elements as the content scrolling. They have the images that are sticky, and they have this navigation tabs-like feature that's sticky. So I thought this would be a pretty cool interaction to try to recreate in Webflow. So I'm going to show you how you can also do this for your own project. So the first thing is I have a blank Webflow project open up. And the only thing I've done so far is I've set my body styles to have the font of enter. And I've set the, uh, the body size to one rem. And I've also just dropped in a couple of images that I'm going to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to drop in three sections and the middle section is going to be the sticky section so you can see the before and after of the scroll. So I'm going to drop in several divs and I'm going to give this class of section and I'm going to duplicate this three times. And for the first and third, I'm going to give it a combo class of 100 VH. And I'm going to set that to a minimum height of 100 VH, just so we have some spacing before and after the sticky section so you can see it in effect. So the third, I'm going to add the combo class. And then I'll just add a background color to those so you can see it as it's scrolling on through. So in our sticky section, I'm going to drop in the container. And I'm going to give this container a width of 100% and a max width of 96 rem. Now I like to use rems uh, for my project. Uh, if you like using pixels, all rems is is the pixel size divided by 16. So if you're new to Webflow, that's the conversion from pixels to rems. So I make it 96 rems, and I'm gonna add some padding. So I'm gonna do five rem on the top and bottom, and then two rem on the sides. So now that I have that set up, I'm going to drop in another div that's going to be my sticky wrapper that's going to hold all the contents. So I'm going to drop in another div, and I'm going to call this sticky wrapper. And this is going to be a position of relative. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in another div, and this is going to be my nav link. So I'm just going to call this nav wrapper on second thought i'll just call this uh sticky nav wrapper in case this is a real project for you and you have an actual nav bar i'm going to drop in another div and i'm going to call this content wrapper And I'm just going to make sure the content wrapper is in the sticky wrapper. And I'm going to drop another div. And this is going to be my image wrapper. So for my sticky wrapper, I'm going to give it a display of flex, evenly spaced. And then I'll give it a gap of, I'll just say 1.5 rem for the sake of the tutorial. So on the content wrapper, I'm just going to give it a width of 32 rem. And on my images wrapper, I'll give it a dimensions of 36 by 36 rem. So my content wrapper, so start with the sticky nav wrapper. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in a link block. And I'll call this sticky link block. And I'll give it some padding around one rem. And then I'll drop in a text block. And I'll call this sticky nav text. I'll just remove the default blue styling for now. And I'll just call this sticky link for now. And I'll duplicate that. So we have three of them and I'll set the sticky nav wrapper to flex vertical. So I have that. And now I'll go to my content wrapper and I'll drop in a div. And this div is going to hold all of our content. So each one of these divs that we're adding with content is going to be 100 VH. So this is going to be our content. I'm going to give it a minimum height of 100 VH. I'm just going to drop in some rich text. And then I'll duplicate our content two times. So we have three of them. And I'll give each a combo class. So it's one, two, and three. And now on our images wrapper, I'm going to set the position to sticky. And I'm going to drop in three images. First one will be image. And I'm going to set the class to image. I'll make it 100% full cover. And I'll duplicate that so we have three of them. I'll give each a combo class. One. Before I do that, I'll set each of them to be absolute. And I'll give it the combo class. So the first one will have a combo class of one. The second will have a combo class of two. And the third will have a combo class of three. And I'll give the first one a Z position of one, the second a Z position of two, and the third a Z position of three. So now I'm just going to go add in my images. So I'm going to go to the first one, hit the cog icon, and I'm just going to drop in an image. Now you can't see it because of the Z position. If we go to this cog right here, you can see it right here. And I'm going to go to the second one. Choose another image, and I'm going to go to the third, and then choose our last image. We have our three images set. So now that we have our three images, with the first one being an image of Los Angeles, the second one being an image from Miami, and the third one being an image from Atlanta, I'm going to change these texts to indicate each city that the images are. So the first one is going to be. Los Angeles, the second one was Miami, and the third was Atlanta. So let me show you. So we have the first one. I'll just, for now, I'll show you. I'll change the Z position. So we have our first one, and this is the second one. So we have all that set up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our content and we're going to give each one of these an ID. So that way, as it's scrolling on through, we have a way for the nav links to go to that section. So content one is going to get an ID of Los Angeles. Content two is going to get an ID of Miami. 
and content three is going to get an ID of Atlanta. So now when we go to these links, we can have it go to that section. So we're going to choose a section. Now we need to make sure we enter. So the section one, we're going to give it an ID of Los Angeles. Content two is going to get an ID of Miami. And content three has the ID of Atlanta. So we're going to go back to the link block. And the first one is going to be linked to the Los Angeles section. The second one is going to be linked to Miami. And the third is going to be linked to Atlanta. So this one goes to the first one. This one goes to the second one. And this one goes to the third. So now let's style our nav section. Now, you'll notice because the first content text is visible, this now first link gets an ID of current. Now, in order to style all of them, we're going to go to the second link block because it doesn't have a current selected. And we'll just turn the opacity down to 20%. Now we'll go back up to the first one that has the combo class of current automatically there. And we'll raise the opacity to 100%. So if you notice it now, as we scroll, Los Angeles has the fully visible. Now you'll notice on our sticky nav wrapper, it's taking the full height of the section. So if we were to set this to position sticky and put zero at the top, it doesn't work. So what we'll do is we'll go to the sticky nav wrapper and give it a defined height of 100%. Now you'll notice it sticks. So now what we'll do is we'll just push it down a little bit. So let's just say 16 rem. And there you can see that the links have the opacity turned on as it scrolls through. So now what we have to do is we have to add the interaction. So as each one of our content scrolls up and down, the images change. So we'll start the first content that has a combo class of one. We'll go to interactions and we'll set up a scroll into view interaction. And we'll start an animation. And we'll call this content one, scroll in. And what we're going to do is we're going to target the image, the first image. And we're going to set the opacity to zero. And that's going to be the initial state. And then we're going to set an opacity to 100%. And we're just going to give it an ease for now. And as it's scrolling out of view, start an animation. And we can duplicate this other one. I'll we'll just edit it, call it content one, scroll out. We'll delete this one that's taking it full 100%. Have the 0%, remove the initial state, and set it to ease. So that way as it's scrolling out, it's going back to 0, the same duration and ease as it went full 100%. And we'll just put the offset to something like 50 to 60%. I'll we'll just go with 50 for this. And then we'll go to the second content. And we'll do the same thing. So we'll set up an interaction, scroll into view, start an animation. We'll call this content two, scroll in. And we're going to target that second image. So we're going to grab the second image and do the same thing. So opacity 
zero, set as initial state, and then another image with the opacity 100%. Ease. Save. And on the scroll out, sorry, animation, we're going to duplicate this one. We're going to edit it. Content to scroll out. Delete this one. Set the initial state as a regular interaction. Ease. Save. And then we'll do it again for the last one. So we go to the last content. And then we'll quickly do the offset to 50%. And we'll do the last one. So we'll go content, the third content. Scroll into view. Start an animation. Content three, scroll in, grab the third image from the navigator, action, set the initial opacity to zero, another opacity, 100%, ease, go save, and then scroll out of view, start animation. Duplicate content three, edit it, call it content three, scroll out, delete the last one, and set the initial state as a regular interaction, and ease, go save, and put the offset to 50%, offset 50%. And the last thing we do is we need to grab our image wrapper. And on the sticky top, you can usually set it to zero, but that's going to put it right up against the top. So we'll just push it down a little bit, like five rem. And you can see we have some white space. And then we'll go back up to our container and we'll just make sure that that's centered. Let's go test it out. So if we scroll, we can see that the images are changing as we scroll on through and the nav links are also changing. So we can scroll to each one. And that's how you would achieve that interaction. Hope this helps and thanks for watching the video.